A very good morning from the Alton Towers Resort, where it's a freezing cold Saturday morning. But we are here to show you Alton Towers Christmas 2023. So in this vlog, we're going to show you everything that Alton Towers Christmas has to offer for a day guest. And in tomorrow's vlog, Alton Towers have been very kind to give us a Santa sleepover. So we're going to show you everything that that has to offer. So yeah, two very different experiences this year. The Christmas event on Park and then the Santa sleepover for hotel guests that includes considerably more. Of course, the Park offering for this year has been reduced quite a bit compared to the past couple of years. There's no Christmas markets this year. There's no light topia. There's no light trail through the gardens and no entertainment outside of CBeebies land on the park itself, which is a shame to see. In terms of why they've done that this year, I believe there's various different reasons. The changing of the school holiday times for this year. Uh, along with that also, a lot of work's going to be happening around the park. Lots of TLC in other areas. So I can also understand that decision. Uh, and it's good to see more work being done for 2024. Uh, um, so yeah, it is a shame that Christmas has been reduced. However, we're going to show you exactly what you get as a day guest. And that's open, of course, um, to day ticket holders if you want to book a ticket online and also annual pass holders as well. It's a lovely sunny day, but I'm freezing, Charlotte. I am so cold. I'm shivering. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take you around. We'll check out the lovely decorations. We'll see the park in the dark as well. And so, yeah, show you the ride offering for the event. Bear in mind, not everything that's supposed to be open may be open today because it is really it cold. Is cold. And of course, that's uh, the weather. That's out of Alton Towers' control. But yeah, we're going to take you around, show you what's on offer. Very different events uh, compared to the past two years. Uh, and then also we're going to be at Santa Sleepover tonight and uh, bringing you that vlog tomorrow, showing you the extra stuff you get if you're staying over. That includes a Christmas dinner. You also get golf, water park entry. So uh, and along with that too, the pantomime that we're going to be showing you tomorrow as well. That's held in the hotels. The good thing is, it's a lovely sunny day today, even though we are very cold. And yeah, here's a look at the frogs on Tower Street. And yeah, they've got some new baubles down there this year. Yeah, the decorations always look great here on Tower Street. And yeah, we'll see this all lit up at night later on as well, which I'm sure will look beautiful. And they put all the wreaths and the garlands on the buildings here on Tower Street as well, which looks really nice. Look at that sky, proper winter vibes today here at Alton Towers. And yeah, you have all the trees there in the middle and the big Christmas tree down there at the bottom as well. That always looks very grand. Yeah, I can't wait to see that lit up tonight. I mean, the lights are on now, but yeah, we'll see it better um, in the dark. Uh, yeah, it's very strange not seeing the Christmas markets. I mean, the past couple of years, there's been markets all down here. They had a little bandstand. There was lots of food booths. And yeah, it is a reduced offering this year for the reasons uh, that I mentioned before, uh, which is a shame. However, hopefully we're going to see the event expanded again in the future obviously there's a lot of work that needs to be done around Alton Towers we've made that very clear in our videos this year uh, so it seems like 2024 is going to be a lot more positive than this year anyway I think it's one of them I can understand this for one year but for next year they really need to bring the Christmas offering back yeah 100% and of course yes there's a lot for hotel guests uh, but you are paying extra for that you know so it'd be nice to see the day offering increased again even if it was an ice ring I've always said for years an ice ring would be a nice addition here they've never had one uh, for public use they used to have the ice shows back in the day. Um, yeah, I think an actual ice ring would be nice. A return of the markets, uh, maybe a bit of a different setup um, in terms of Lightopia because obviously that company went into administration. So yeah, it was kind of beyond Alton Towers' control really with that. It was an external company they brought in to do it. And so uh, yeah, obviously, yeah, it's left them with a, without a light trail. So yeah, it's a shame that they couldn't uh, do their own one for this year. However, instead of rushing into something, I don't mind them getting the product um, and getting it right for next year. So we'll see what happens with that one. Uh, as long as it's only a one-year thing I can kind of let them off especially with how much work is going on around the park this winter um, yeah look at Tower Street it looks very pretty all the bows up there on the top as well so yeah we're gonna make our way round and show you the ride offering for this year Oh, and there's a look at the beautiful Towers ruins just over there. And yeah, you can even see a frost covering over on the grass there too. Yeah, it was actually minus one this morning and it's about two degrees now. So yeah, it's very cold. Just a few weeks ago though, we were stood there on the lawns enjoying the fireworks. Oh, it was brilliant, oh, wasn't the it? the fireworks were so good. Now I've got my sunglasses on, but the sun <laughs> is out and it's, I'm protecting my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> just so you're not squinting all the time like, as we're going round. Oh, we we're going to make our way down into Mutiny Bay first. Yeah, all the Christmas trees down here. I think they've had some new lights for this year. Got some twinkling, we've got some reds into the colour scheme this year as well. So yeah, I look forward to seeing that later on. 
And we're going to start off down here in Mutiny Bay. And of course, you can't really tell yet. However, there's loads of Christmas lights over all this. And also, they've actually added loads of lights in these trees as well, which they've never done before. Seems like initially there's a lot more decorations around than there has been previously for Christmas. Um, so yeah, looking forward to seeing that later on. So stay tuned uh, later in the vlog. And we're also very excited for a Santa sleepover because we've never actually stayed over at Alton Towers for Christmas. And yeah, it's been really kind of them uh, to allow us to come and stay and show you that offering as well. And I think with it being a reduced offering for day guests, kind of made sense really for them to allow us to come down and show you what's on offer if you do come and stay over. Yeah, here's a look at Heave Ho, that rocking tug that's open down here as well. And off we go! Now of course Christmas at Alton Towers isn't open every day, so check out the websites for opening times. Yeah, today it's 10 a.m. through until 6 p.m. Love the day for a rocking tug. And the other flat ride here in Mutiny Bay is open as well. Yeah, it's great how this is undercover. And that's Marauder's Mayhem, which is the spinning barrels ride. Yeah, I just noticed they've put a few of these little pop-ups around as well. So yeah, these are the buildings that they used for the Christmas markets the past couple of years. And yeah, they've added one here as a gifts area. And also, there's a little gift shop over there, the other side of Marauder's Mayhem as well. So that's good to see. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot more decorations than usual around, which is very positive. And if you're playing the games, you can actually get Christmas themed <laughs> toys just over there as well. I mean, you know, we're not really big games people. However, yeah, if you do like playing them, you can get yourself a, a Kevin the Carrot just there as well. Uh, or is it Kevin? Uh, not Kevin the Carrot. Knock off Kevin knock the Carrot. Kevin. Yeah. to warm for a little bit now and head into Shark Bay Reef by Sea Life, which is the aquarium open here in Mutiny Bay too. Love the theme music in here. Oh, it's much warmer in here than outside. Oh, look at the starfish. It's a good thing there's a few indoor areas that are open over Christmas. So yeah, I'll be sure to show you all of these in the vlog. Well, if you are a hotel guest staying for Santa Sleepover, you can always go and relax in the hotel for a little bit. The pantomime's inside as well. I'll be covering all of that in tomorrow's video. Beautiful creatures, aren't they? Seen people for a few weeks, I guess it's the end of the season. Oh. <laughs> I always love a trip through Charbet Reef, like it is great in here, even better on a cold day when you can come in and get in the warm. Still there? Yeah, let's see up there at the top. Like it's been on camera. <laughs> Ray's coming around us here too. Yeah, they did a really good job with this. It opened back in 2009, and you wouldn't know this, but this was actually a traveling aquarium in Germany. And yeah, it's permanently here at Alton Towers now, like it has been since 2009. But yeah, all the infrastructure of it actually traveled around. It wasn't like a permanent building. Very cool. And they added all the theming to fit it into Mutiny Bay that opened the year prior in 2008. Doing a little dance there. <laughs> Loving the camera today. I love it. And of course, you can take as many photos and videos as you want in here, but make sure you have your flash turned off just to protect the animals. Skeleton bay. And you got 
the cleaner shrimps just here as well. Oh. There we go, latching on to you there. Just the nails for. <laughs> He's wow. off. Wow, I felt weird. <laughs> There's Nemo. Nemo. <laughs> relaxing aren't they aquariums So if you do get quite cold whilst you're walking around, getting on the rides, yeah, you can just make your way into here, have a nice warm up. It's very well themed. I've always enjoyed Shark Bay Reef. Quite underrated, actually. So many of them as well. Beautiful, aren't they? So sweet. What's your favourite sea creature, Charlotte? I like a sea turtle, I do. Yes, I like the turtle. The big ones that look like crush. Oh. Well, they don't have any here at Shark Bay Reef, but they're doing a lot of the other sea life centers, actually. Obviously, it's not that big, the main ocean tank here. It's still impressive, but yeah, if you want to see the big turtles, they have them at other sea life centers in the UK and various other aquariums as well. And here we've got the leopard moray eel that's there. Wow, he's massive. I mean, it is magnified, this glass just here, but he's still pretty big. I like these. The lionfish just there. Yeah, all the facts are like David Attenborough. <laughs> oh, I'm just reading the board at the side. <laughs> no, they always do a really good job in here. I do like it a lot. That's Shark Bay Reef by Sea Life. Oh, look at that. The sun is shining beautifully today, but I'm still very cold. Did you enjoy Shark Bay Reef? Oh, it's so nice in there. Like, all the facts about the fish, and it's just so well presented as well. It is. The theming in there is incredible. Yeah, it was a really nice addition when it opened here at the Alton Towers Resort. Yeah, we're going to head down towards the back of the park now and the world of Davy Walliams that's also open for Christmas. Oh, it's very quiet up here at Wicker Man. However, they have got the flames on inside the structure just there, as you can see. Yeah, I'm surprised the track's not all frosted over with how chilly it is today. However, there's a look at it. Yeah, only been a few weeks since we experienced it, but I'm missing Wicker Man already. I'm looking forward to getting back on this excellent wooden coaster in 2024. But yeah, if you are coming over winter, it gives you a good chance to get up close to some of the rides and areas uh, and see the winter work happening. However, a lot of the parts closed off. You can't get anywhere near Forbidden Valley, uh, unless of course you go into the roller coaster restaurants. Um, but yeah, you can't like, walk up that way um, through this area. But yeah, in terms of ride availability, of course they have got um, some indoor rides that aren't open for the Christmas event. In the future, I'd like to see the Curse at Alton Manor and also Hex back open. Uh, now in the past, Hex has been open for Christmas. Obviously this year it's been closed quite a lot because of uh, technical problems and yeah they are working on that over winter to have it back open for the start of the season. Um, yeah that'd be nice to have open in the future. Uh, even maybe Nemesis Subterra could be a nice option to have open for Christmas as well because it's indoors and of course the Curse at Alton Manor. Uh, when it was dual we have had that open before at Christmas if you remember. They sort of alternated it didn't they? So like one time it was Hex and then one time it was dual. I'd just like to see next year having more indoor stuff open because when it's cold like this, it's perfect for people to go inside. Yeah, and the rides are there, they've got the infrastructure, and that'd be good to see. But obviously this year, they are working on Hex um, because of the technical issues, and also the Curse at Alton Manor's having some work done to it as well. Nothing you'll probably uh, recognise at the start of the season, but yeah, a lot of kind of system upgrades, uh, replacing the operating system on there. Yeah, hence why it's closed um, this winter. So yeah, hopefully next year, um, with them other two dark rides, we could see them back open for Christmas, because they really need to be to offer more, in our opinion. 
Now I mentioned just how if you're coming over Christmas, you get a bit of a sneak peek at the winter maintenance happening across the park, which I find really interesting. And yeah, we're just over here at Battle Galleons now, also in Mutiny Bay. Of course, this splash battle isn't open over Christmas. Um, with it being a splash battle, you don't want to be getting soaked um, at Christmas time. However, um, you can see how they've lowered the water level so they can do some maintenance on the trough itself. So there you go, you wouldn't normally see the trough. It's embedded down into the lake usually. But yeah, you can see about a foot of the trough all the way around there now. So yeah, it's just these little unique bits you get to see if you're coming over Christmas. And if you're a big fan of kind of ride maintenance and seeing all the behind the scenes, then yeah, it's quite cool to see. And of course, all the boats are missing as well whilst they're having their TLC and hopefully a good cleanup, like most of the park really needs for next year. As we're making our way down towards the world of David Walliams, it's looking very sparse in terms of Christmas decorations here. Yeah, normally you have all garlands on the railing. These lampposts also have wreaths on. And as you can see, there's nothing down here. So yeah, that's a bit of a shame. We've seen a lot of increased lights around other parts of the park. That's gonna look beautiful later. But yeah, they could have done with something down here. They've not even got like the little trees in the pots down here like they normally have. So yeah, looking really sparse Christmas decorations in this area. And there's a look down into the Alton Towers Gardens. And yeah, as you can see, some work is happening on the statue just up here of the Earl of Shrewsbury who made the desert smile. So yeah, that's really nice to see that they're doing some work to that. Hopefully a full repaint because yeah, it was looking quite tired. But yeah, very positive to see scaffolding up over there. And uh, that's having some TLC done. But yeah, in terms of the gardens, all fully closed off. Um, normally, you know, we'd have the light trail down there to go through. We've had that in the past. And also Lighttopia also went through part of the gardens at the side as well. We had none of that for this year, unfortunately. However, there is work taking place down there. In terms of decorations down here, it's very disappointing. I mean, even White Bridge here hasn't got the normal trees and garlands. Yeah, they normally kind of dangle them all off the sides here. And we have a few trees around here as well. And yeah, that's something they've been doing for many years. Because if we go back into the history of this Christmas event, uh, it used to just be for hotel guests, um, kind of like the mid-2000s. And it was only a few years ago when they first opened it up to day guests. And then we saw the increased offering over the past couple of years. And then it's been, of course, reduced for this year. However, yeah, uh, in terms of decoration, uh, there's not much at all around here. Uh, hopefully there's something up on Fountain Square and in the world of David Walliams itself, but where I'm standing right now, I can't see anything Christmas all the way around, which is a real shame. I mean, that pathway's closed down that way to Spinball, which is fine. They don't need to decorate uh, down that area. Yeah, there's literally nothing Christmas here. It would be really nice if they just put the trees around here. I was expecting that as a kind of bare minimum, you know, but you think what could be done on here and what we've had in the past a couple of years ago, Lightopia, the big dragon across here, the water projections there on the lake. It's a big cutback event for this year for day guests. So we're just walking up now through the tower's archway and yeah, no decorations down here. It's a real shame because obviously we say about for day guests it's a shame, but also even if you're staying over in the hotel, yes, you've got all the decorations up there. But when you come down here into parts of the park, there's just nothing festive, is there? I think this is a real shame. Like Sean said, whether you have paid to stay for a Santa sleepover or you are coming as a paying day guest, once you're off Tower Street, there is nothing, there is nothing on Fountain Square. Yeah, Muni Bay was looking good down there. But yeah, not a lot to see oh around here. Gosh. And they've been decorating this for years. Let's see what else there is around here. And let's look at the exterior. So Hex looking forward to stepping back in and discovering the legend of the towers in 2024. And yeah, when Hex has been open for Christmas in the past, they've had like uh, wreaths out here and decorations and lights. And to be honest, I think they could have still decorated uh, the outside here, even though the ride's shut. Um, they could have still put all the garlands and stuff out the front. And yeah, here's Fountain Square. So if you go back a couple of years ago, we had the stage up here, there was the pantomime, there was all the fire heaters, and also then big Christmas portals and big white portals that they made brand new a couple of years ago, like fiberglass, and they're nowhere to be seen. Like we haven't even seen them on Tower Street or anything. So a real shame, even they could have gone out as a photo opportunity. Uh, I am disappointed in what's been done decorating here. We've not seen any decorations since we left Mutiny Bay. And here we go, we've arrived in the world of Davy Williams, home to Gangster Granny the Ride. And yeah, you think we're here on a summer day. There is literally no decorations. I can't see any lights in the trees or anything. So yeah, the last Christmassy vibes we had were down in Meetany Bay. It was looking really promising with decorations because there is some new bits around on Tower Street and also Meetany Bay. And of course, we've not seen CBB's land yet. Um, but yeah, there's not a lot around at all. All there is that's festive is some grit on the floor just over there. And yeah, there's a look at Flavio's fabulous Fandango. This is the only temporary ride 
still standing now here at Alton Towers. Yeah, the three Retro Squad rides have gone. And out of the four, this one's always looked the best because, of course, you know, it's quite well themed in. All the vinyls on there, you've got the mirror balls round at the side, and it's got a themed soundtrack. And yeah, it seems like this is going to be staying here at Alton Towers, or at least for the foreseeable future anyway. And I don't mind too much. He does fit with the theme. Damn! I like Flavio, he's a good guy. Now let's look at the carousel. I am in shock. Where, where are the Christmas decorations? I know, shop? it's where sad. It is really sad. I mean, we knew that there was going to be no markets and light trail this year, but I thought that would be the opportunity for them to think, let's put more decoration around, an increase in decoration. But yeah, it's, it's like Williams was never supposed to be open at Christmas and the added is on late, and that isn't the case as far as I'm aware. Can we have your score, please? Yeah, you've got the three outdoor rides here, and then of course Gangster Granny, which is the dark ride off to the right hand side yeah we can't film on there sadly they don't allow it even though it's a dark ride yeah so look at it i do like this area though it's very colorful remember going back a few years before david williams came in this was all closed off for a while so yeah at least they reopened it but yeah there's just so much missed opportunity um with christmas here at the resort and yeah in this area you know like they could at least put some lights and garlands on the buildings and try to make it look festive even just getting some real trees and putting them around like they've always done in the past yeah it's very disappointing from a kind of decoration point of view and you got the cuckoo cars driving school over here too I do think Alton Towers have done well to get these rides open today though in the cold temperatures, especially stuff like driving school and heave ho. Uh, obviously not everything's gonna be available today with it being cold, and that's out of Alton Towers control, you know, with it being cold temperatures, safety is always paramount. But yeah, they've done a good job getting this open, kind of getting all the grit down, de-icing all the cars. Well, how much de-ice do they need for these? So yeah, we're gonna walk back down that same pathway now. But yeah, there is literally not one Christmas decoration down in the whole of this area or the walkway down from Mutiny Bay. Now we're just walking back down towards Mutiny Bay and we noticed the pathway down to the gardens is actually open. Yeah, the big black gates um, were open. So we thought we'll come and have a walk in. So yeah, that's quite nice. We didn't realize that the gardens were gonna be available. And at first, when we saw that scaffolding at the top at the monument, we thought, oh yeah, they're gonna be shut. But uh, now, as you can see, they are open and accessible, which is nice. So yeah, we're gonna have a little stroll through the gardens just down here. And kind of reminisce on what once was you know we liked topia down here and uh, before that the light trail that they did kind of around this top area as well and yeah i missed the light trail at scarefest actually but yeah i think a reduced offering for christmas and what we've seen so far um you know kind of reflects the 2023 season at alton towers i'm really hoping for some big improvements in 2024 um but still you know it's clear that christmas um has took a big step back this year and it's a real shame there's a lot more decorations down at the front of the park and me and charlotte were just saying about this um really them new lights and decorations they've put in down the front should have gone further back you know they should have just bought more trees in and put them on the pathway uh, some more garlands down that way they've got this stuff and and also them big portals that they used um, like last year and the year before and um, they're not out anywhere from what we've seen unless they're in CBeebies but uh, I doubt it so yeah uh, they could have got those out just for a photo opportunity yeah it's infrastructure that they've got and doesn't cost anything to get out I do always enjoy a stroll through the gardens it would be even better if we had the light trail down here like in previous years but yeah, at least they are open to walk through and yeah with the frost on the grass down here as well it makes it quite festive that's all that's festive about it though. <laughs> yeah, not all the gardens are open, which is understandable. Yeah, the bottom section down there towards the Pagoda Fountain, and that is all blocked off because a lot of them pathways lead up to other parts of the park like Gloomywood and Forbidden Valley. And yeah, it wouldn't be safe, of course, for guests to be heading up that way uh, when there's a lot of work going on. The only access you can get into Forbidden Valley is if you're visiting the roller coaster restaurant. And you got the lovely bandstanders here as well. Yeah, we had all them nice lights up there, if you remember previously which are very nice and yeah they've actually kept like the black tarpaulin up there in the top from when they had it at christmas with all the lights hanging down so we're just going to stroll back up this way now and yeah we'll go and check out cbb's land and also spinball wizard now i don't think spinball is going to be operating today with the temperature again that isn't alton tower's fault um it's very cold today and safety is always paramount so it's understandable that spinball and a few of the other rides in cbb's are closed but we'll go and take you around there and show you what is on the offering of course weather dependent as always when you visit theme parks though um, safety is paramount and yeah ride offering is subject to availability 
I do enjoy a stroll through the Alton Towers gardens, a nice brisk winter walk. And yeah, it's quite steep and hilly in places, but I wouldn't have it any other way. It's really nice down there. And yeah, it's warmed me up a bit now, shall I am sweating now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, anyway, I just wanted to get in about food options. Uh, of course, there's quite a few bits down here at the front of the park that we'll go through. However, down there at the back of the park, uh, there's no food options available. You haven't got woodcutters that's open, the indoor restaurant on Fountain Square, or Burger Kitchen, which has got all that interior seating. Two nice warm spaces that really need to be open at Christmas, or at least one of them. Oh, yeah, they are both closed. So yeah, bear that in mind if you are coming for Christmas. Also, if you are coming for a day guest for Christmas, unfortunately, you can't meet Santa. If oh. you've got an annual pass or you've got a day guest ticket, unfortunately, you just can't go and see him. Yeah, which is a real shame it because is. I know a lot of kids are going to want to come here and meet the big man himself. Santa is here at Alton Towers for Christmas, but yeah, you do need to be uh, staying on a Santa sleepover for that, which is the overnight experience. Um, but yeah, we will show you the Santa's Grotto in our vlog um, from that experience. But so uh, yeah, it is a shame it that is. day guests and annual pass holders um, can't meet Santa, unfortunately, this year. Oh, these are the first Christmas trees we've seen in about 25 minutes. But yeah, we're down here, just by the courtyard in Mutiny Bay. And yeah, I do like these trees. We really need to put some more of these on them other pathways. Yeah, the whole courtyard's got quite a few decorations. If anything, for me, I'd have probably had these on that pathway instead of here in the courtyard, to be honest. Yeah, here's a look at all the trees around here. You've got the undercover space over here. We have the bar, the welcome in is closed over there. However, they have got the little stall open over its side there as well, which is for photos from Santa's Grotto. I thought that was uh, doing food or drinks down no, there. It's for photos. photos from Santa. Yeah, and there, of course, the Santa's Grotto down here in Mutiny Bay. So they have got a little external coffee booth just here to the left hand side as well. And yeah, it looks like they do some spirits as well. You've got Bailey's just on there as well. Bailey's hot chocolate with cream. And yeah, that's external, so you won't get your annual pass discount there. And yeah, they have got a little soft toy shop just over here as well. And yeah, we've got the snowman out just over here as well, which is good to see. And all the characters. Yeah, it's nice, a photo opportunity. Just down here in Mutiny Bay, and yeah, I reckon they roam around, which is good. Yeah, I do like having these around. I love the characters, it's nice how they've got them all out there. Mrs. Claus as well, the snowmen, and yeah, I just think that's a really nice photo opportunity that's available to everyone coming for Alton Towers Christmas. It is. If you are looking at food in Mutiny Bay, Mutiny Bay Donuts is open and also Eastern Express. Yeah, Eastern Express, again, it's external, so you don't get your discount, but they do hot food there they as do. well. So yeah, that's open down there in Mutiny Bay. We are gonna make our way now towards Spinball Wizard. We'll have a look down there at that. Like I say, it is closed due to the temperatures today, but normally, if it's warm enough, it will be open at Christmas. And then we'll have a stroll through CBeebies Lion, which of course is the main draw really for Alton Towers Christmas this year. I'm back up here on Tower Street then now, looking at all the lovely decorations here. Yeah, this looks fantastic. Done a very good job with the decor. You've got all the presents, the candy canes down there as well. And yeah, like I say, Spinball is closed due to the low temperatures at the moment. I don't think it's going to open later because it's going to be staying cold all day, um, but you never know, it might do. Um, yeah, it's normally open, the park's spinning coaster. We can't actually get down there now. They've blocked it off because um, it's closed. Yeah, that's understandable just to stop people walking down there and wasting the legs uh, walking down that way towards it, yeah, when it's closed. Uh, yeah, here's a look then back up on Tower Street. Box office over there. We'll have a look in Tower's Trading shortly at the merchandise for Christmas as well. And yeah, Tower Street hot dogs and donuts are both closed on here. I'm surprised, especially um, with the hot dogs. You know, you thought they'd be open just to offer something else for people visiting. But Corner Coffee is open on this side as well. And yeah, they don't really do uh, hot food in there, but you've got a lot of sandwiches. And uh, actually, I think they do sausage rolls and things, don't they, in yeah, the container? Yeah, they do do sausage rolls. They used to do like breakfast bats, but I don't even know if they do those anymore. No, I'm not too sure. We'll uh, have a little walk through actually and let you know. Yeah, corner coffee, and then we'll head down into CBeebies line. I'm sure there'll be lots of decorations around there. Yeah, lots of drinks and cold snacks in here. And down here at the end as well. Oh yeah, the do still. Yeah, you got some bacon baps just there, sausage baps, and you do get your annual pass discount in here as well. Sandwiches up there at the top. Ham and cheese panini just over there too, and yeah, they'll warm them up for you. And here we go, back into CBeebies land, a very colourful family area here. And you know what, it might be cold, but I'd rather it be cold than raining. Like, you know, it's always horrible when it's raining, so it's nice that it's dry today. Special delivery service, Paddy's on his way. 
Now, all the rides other than Get Set Go Treetop Adventure are scheduled to be open in CBEVs over Christmas. Like I say, with the cold weather today, and if you are visiting when it's freezing like it is, uh, then yes, yeah, some of the rides may be closed. Uh, however, they may open later in the day. Um, but yeah, here's a look at Postman Pack just over there as well. But yeah, lots of decorations to see around here too. I have noticed we've got some lights in the trees around here. So yeah, we'll have a stroll through here at night later on. We have all the garlands. Yeah, they normally put garlands up like this all down that pathway. I can't believe it down towards Walliams uh, from Mutiny Bay. And even in Walliams itself, like there was nothing down there. Yeah, disappointing. Uh, especially when they've done a good job of the decorations down here. I like the CBeebies Christmas music as well. It's Christmas time again. <laughs> Anyone will know. I've watched the channel for a while. I used to work on Postman Pat and a few of the other rides at Christmas. So yeah, these songs repeating like every half an hour. Uh, I know them all word for word. Yeah, I do like the Christmas ones. Yeah, Garland looks nice all down the side here. Postman Pat, parcel post. All busy down here at Post and Pat, 35 minute estimated wait. I'd say that's because there's quite a few rides closed with the temperatures today. As I say, that's fully understandable. Yeah, you've got a little Explorer's lunchbox that's open down here. And yeah, this is the main place to eat really on park if you're coming for Christmas. Uh, and they do pizza and pasta in here, sandwiches, lots of other options too. Jack in, potatoes. Yeah, Jack with potatoes. In fact, we come and eat here quite a lot during the main season, don't we? The food in here is really good. The Jack and potatoes are so nice. Yeah, some of the best food on park actually. Yeah. Uh, and down here in Little Explorer's lunchbox. Christmas tree just in the middle there as well. I'm sure it'll look nice around here at night. Yeah, and there's your Christmas tree and there's all the garlands around here. Bugby go round just there as well. Justin's house, Pyomatic Factory's down there at the back. And that's on a 20 minute wait. And then you've got in the night garden magical boat ride doesn't do well in cold temperatures that but it does look like they're trying to get it open like i said it's probably all frosted over today so yeah it looks like maybe it's going to open soon we'll take you on it if it does open today yeah justin's house is all indoors and then you've got mistletoe lane which is the santa's grotto down here in cbb's land and we're going to be taking you into mistletoe lane in tomorrow's vlog like i say you can only meet santa if you're an overnight guest uh, the Alton Tower has been kind enough to invite us to stay for the night so we can show you the difference between the day offering and also uh, the nighttime offering with a Santa sleepover. And we've got lots of entertainment, the Panto to check out, and coming down here into Mistletoe Lane, which is a really nice Santa experience in there. Really magical. Peter Rabbit's Hibbity Hop down here as well, the two frog hopper style attractions they've got down here in this part of the park. Yeah, they've done very well to get these rides open, especially with the cold temperatures today. Yeah, hopefully in the night garden will open up later, and maybe Spinball Wizard, but I doubt it with how cold it is. And you've got the play area just over here too. Lovely sunny day though now, it's warming up a bit, which is good. Now another indoor thing to see down here in CBB's land is the Furchester Hotel. Yeah, really good puppet show in there, so I'd recommend it, especially when it's chilly. And yeah, you got Go Jetta's Rooms to Zoom ride just over there. It looks like that's just about to open as well this morning. Now, as we mentioned previously, there's no other stage shows on the park other than CBeebies Land. But yeah, they have got three on offer in here, which is great for families. And yeah, as you can see, you've got Hey Dougie with the Dougie and the Christmas sing-along badge show. That's on twice. You've got Bing Live just down there as well. Bing's day out at CBeebies Land. And of course, my favorite, the Teletubbies, the big band live show. Really good, well worth watching. Uh, of course, you come in here with kids. They're all great shows. Uh, but yeah, for Christmas, you've got the Hey Dougie one. The others are just the normal shows that they've been running all year. Um, but still, it's nice how they've got their entertainment offerings. And yeah, if you want to see Hey Dougie and sing along for his Christmas badge show, you can do it at 12.30 and 3.30. Teddy Tubby's playing musical statues. Uh, uh, a guy for Tubby musical statues. Teddy Tubby's playing musical stops, the Teletubbies have to stand very still. Oh! Oh, very still! Teletubbies stand very still! 
Oh, you can't go wrong with the family shows in Big Fun Showtime. Yeah, they're really good and definitely worth checking out in CBeebies land. And yeah, here's a look down at Octonauts. Again, this coast is closed at the moment due to the low temperatures. You never know, it may open later on, but safety is always paramount. But yeah, just two coasters open as part of the Christmas event here on Towers. Well, there you go, that's all the different rides um, that are supposed to be open or are open during the festive events here at the resorts. Yeah, it's a limited ride offering. However, um, it's mostly aimed, of course, at families with children. So we're back down here on Towers Street now, and yeah, we'll have a look inside Towers Trading Company, the biggest shop here at the Alton Towers Resort. So we're gonna have a look at the merchandise for Christmas. And we've got some discounts going on just here in Towers Trading. Assorted rock was 115, now a pound. There you go, 50p saving. And all your ride rock down there. We've got some nice Christmas trees here in the shop as well. I like how they put all the little toys on the tree just there. And yeah, the decorations up in the hotel are lovely as always. Yeah, very well decorated for Christmas. And that's all gonna be coming up in our vlog from the Santa sleepover. There you go, you can get the giant Christmas bears. 180 pound though. Oh, oh my God. That's expensive. I thought it was 80. Yeah, 180 pound, there you go, look at that. Gosh. That's it, does he come with a tinsel? I'm yeah. guessing he's got a Christmas jumper on, so you've got to take the money off the jumper, <laughs> he can wear that. You reckon, well the bear wants to wear it, you can't take it oh off him, can you? Oh my gosh. Yeah, expensive that is, but he is quite nice. nice just there, you know, you're getting the big toy. Uh, sorry for grabbing your nose, uh, I've done it again. <laughs> well, yeah, you do get the Christmas jumper. Yeah, I do love the Alton Towers Christmas jumpers. Oh. I've I've got the one down there at the bottom that's reduced now that's 33 pounds uh, was 40 so yeah you got a reduction on that that's a nice one and this is the well, same newer one i think this came in last year yeah, didn't that's it 33 as well. yeah i do really like that one i'd say that i like that one actually even more I than like the one at the both. bottom i mean they're very nice but yeah i think that one's fantastic love a good christmas jumper and then we've got the mugs just over here as well 13 pounds for the christmas mug and these are actually embossed mugs as well these are great you know me, I'm a bit of a mug for mugs, so yeah, it's nice that <laughs> they've got those. And then you've got the uh, embossed magnets, which are £5. Not forgetting, if you have got an annual pass, you do get your discount on those as well. These are sweet for the little ones. Oh, and these are discounted oh. as well. 25 You can all match. Matching Christmas jumpers, yeah, the little plushies down here as well. Yeah, merchandise for Christmas is very nice. I especially like that new mug. Yeah, I think that is brilliant. Let's just see if there's any other discounts for if you are coming down here over Christmas. These have been reduced for quite some time now. They're still trying to get rid of the Smiler Space Hopper. Was ten pound now seven. If you want those, remember Charlotte at the end of the season having to bounce around. <laughs> and yeah, all this stuff's discounted just here as well. You got the duvet set, the mugs, the magnets, and uh, yeah, a few other bits. They're all discounted, and that's the thing. Even though these rides and parts of the park are closed at Christmas, you can still buy the merch because a lot of people love the merchandise for Christmas presents, and especially from the Smiler just there. And yeah, you've got the Smiler tree. That's quite nice, isn't it? I like how they put all them on. You've got the Slinkies just on there too. I think that's a new mug. I've not nice seen mug. that before. Yeah, I've seen that one. It's yeah. a heat one, so it's, it lights up when you've put hot water in. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the uh, uh, of those ones, I'll be honest. But I do like the Smiler yeah. tree. Oblivion mug just there. And then you've got your like event section over here, Oktoberfest merchandise down there too. We've got some more discounts on the Mardi Gras uh, merchandise down here. That's interesting. Now they're selling off the things from Mardi Gras. Is that a sign that, you know, the event's changing branding or not coming back next year or they're just trying to get rid of that for new merch? Quite interesting to see. Good display there with the balls. I like how they've done that. That looks good. And then you've still got some of your old scores. I'm going to say Nemesis merch over here. I'd imagine we're going to be seeing a whole new range of Nemesis merch for 2024. Probably updated branding and logos as well. Um, so yeah, it might be your last chance to pick up some of this stuff with this branding. I mean, I'm only guessing that. Um, but yeah, they're still selling this Nemesis merch. This could be quite exclusive, quite rare actually. Um, of course, when the new Nemesis come, stuff comes in for next year. What's that on there? I don't know what's happened yeah. to that oh, one. That one needs, uh, <laughs> He's taking off display, doesn't it? Uh, and yeah, you've got your Subterra merchandise here. Mugs are quite basic, they're not embossed, they're flat. And yeah, I do think the water bottle isn't great, to be honest, I don't like how that's just kind of stuck on there. Looks a bit cheap, that does. I do love the Hex resin just down there as well. And you know what I love even more? Hex Operatings. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back on that from the start of the 2024 season. We've been assured that it's gonna be ready for the start, so I'm looking forward to that. 
I've always liked the ride posters, and yeah, they're discounted. It was seven, now £4.50 as well, yeah, for quite a few um, different rides. Are they all Rita ones in there, or I have they got so, some others? Yeah. yeah, normally I have quite a few others, but yeah, I've got these myself at home, they're good. Looks like Rita's got a beyond vertical drop there. <laughs> And if you are feeling cold during your visit to Alton Towers this Christmas, they do sell socks here in the shop as well. And they're not just any socks, the festive Christmas socks there. So yeah, £2.45 for uh, your socks. So you never know if you get wet feet, then yeah, you can come in here and get some socks. And you've got the little Christmas owls for £8 as well. They're pretty good. Yeah, they do sell like hats, gloves, scarves, all that kind of stuff in here as well. And these ones are Alton Towers branded. Just thought I'd show you those. Scarf. Scarf's really nice. I like that. You could have the Christmas jumper, have it all matching. But yeah, that's the merchandise for Christmas. And then you've got the sock tree just over there. <laughs> A bit different. I look there at the Christmas merchandise and yeah some other special offers they've got in Towers Trading and yeah I do think the Christmas merch is great I especially love the Christmas jumpers and also the mug that's available there as well it's lovely but yeah back out here on Towers Street now and yeah it's got a little bit warmer which is good so you never know by later on the ride offering uh, may have improved um, but like I say you know it's the weather today isn't it that's the thing they can't control the weather unfortunately no but uh, yeah that's the offering down here for day guests we're actually going to make our way up to the hotels now to check out some of the offering if you come in as part of a Santa sleepover an overnight stay here to the Alton Towers Resort so like we've mentioned there is considerably more that's available however I do feel like they need more going on for day guests here on the park and more decorations especially down there at the back but still we're going to be back down here later on we're going to take you around show you some of the rides at night and the decorations this view of Tower Street always looks really magical at night at Christmas uh, with all the trees and the lights we'll have a walk around the whole park again and show you it lit up in the dark but yeah, we're going to go and check out the pan to mine um, which is four hotel guests who are here for a Santa sleepover and we're also going to be uh, having some food as well we're going to have a nice Christmas buffet aren't Ooh, we I'm looking forward to this Christmas dinner I love a Christmas roast yeah I think it's like a carvery buffet isn't oh, it that you're having beautiful so, my sort of thing hey, and uh, yeah we'll have our full kind of thoughts on the day offering at the end of this vlog but we'll see you all later on when we're back here on Tower Street at night so a few hours have passed and we've now made our way back down here to the theme park and I've got to say we watched the pantomime which was fantastic and yeah that'll be coming up in our Santa sleepover vlog tomorrow here on theme park worldwide. They're back down here at the theme park entrance, did a very good job with the lighting down here. I like how they've uplit the logo just there and you've got all the trees and the ice cold lights out the front here as well. So let's go make our way back into the park. Oh, look at Tower Street here. It looks fantastic with lots of new lighting. I'm going to say it, I think Tower Street looks the best I've ever seen it during Christmas time. And that's because you've got all the new lights on these trees and the twinkling away as well. But also, they've got some up lighting in the trees and on the buildings at the side. You can see that blue up lighting, which looks fantastic. And with a very wintry sky, this garland here in the foreground as well, they've done a very good job. What are you thinking, Charlotte? This is stunning. This is something like you could see on a postcard or a Christmas card. It is just so beautiful. It looks stunning. We might put this on our Christmas cards yeah. this year. Take a photo right here. Now it's very pretty. And the tree looks great down the bottom. Let's have a closer look. And as we're walking down Tower Street, you got all the music, all the lights twinkling. <laughs> really magical, like seeing it like this really is and yeah as much as it's a smaller event this year hopefully we'll start to see them build it again from 2024 i really hope so yeah these are the new lights they've got kind of wrapped around the trees at the side and the up lighting shining up the trees yeah and it kind of shines on the buildings too but it's very pretty and then you've got them lights in the frog fountains they put those in permanently a few years ago and yeah they look really good at night look fantastic at the big tree oh it looks stunning doesn't it yeah really pretty and you've got the lights down there at the bottom as well very impressed with the decorations down here on tower street and the tree looks the best it's ever looked in my opinion can't go wrong with a real tree and all the baubles and lights yeah they've got them really even on there this year a lot of thoughts gone into the overall presentation of that i can't believe with how good they've done all this they've not done anything down in david williams or on that pathway you wouldn't even think you're in the same theme park like nothing down there at all however this looks amazing down here and yeah, the good news is more rides have opened since earlier on, including Spinball Wizard. So we're going to head down there now and have a go before making our way into Sea Beebe's Land. God, look at all these lights here. Yeah, lots of up lighting and then all wrapped around the tree trunks. We need these up lighters out at Scarefest, to be honest. Like, they could install them at Scarefest and then keep them up for Christmas like, all down the side here. I just have a lot of atmosphere, like permanent lighting. Yeah, they really need these out for Halloween around the park. Yeah, it looks great. 
and we've made it just down here to spin ball wizard it has been operating for the past couple of hours um but yeah it has just closed now due to the low temperatures that's fine safety is always paramount and you can't think we've had plenty of rides over the years on spin ball wizard but yeah that'll be closed now for the rest of the night there's about an hour left until ride close at six o'clock we yeah, just thought we'd come down here and have a look yeah now closed because of that cold temperature understandable though yeah it's about one degree now look at all this with the trees like the christmas decorations at the front of the park look the best they've ever looked in my opinion i've seen every christmas event they've done for many years and yeah this looks really good down here very impressed yeah we're gonna make our way into cbb's land now and we'll have a look around there and of course we're also seeing santa tonight as part of the santa sleepover however you'll be able to see that in tomorrow's vlog uh, of course where we show you everything that you get if you're an overnight guest coming down to walton towers this christmas but yeah anybody can come here and see the lights and they look very pretty and we'll make our way now here in to CBeebies land. Yeah, you got all the Christmas lights out the front just here as well. As we make our way in, let's go have a walk around the area and see the decorations at night and also show you the rides down here in CBeebies. Yeah, this looks lovely all down here at the side. Very impressed how they've done all the little bushes down here as well. And all that uplighting in the trees. Yeah, because it looks good from this side, but also when you're walking on the path down to Spinball Wizard. But yeah, these uh, park and shining up are great. More of that around the park would be lovely, especially around Scarefest. That would really add to Halloween. That's the thing with Alton Towers having such a beautiful location. Lighting up the trees is amazing. Like, that looks great. Just a simple thing, but it looks so effective. I like how they've wrapped all the lights around the tree trunk there as well. And yeah, as we carry on up past Post and Pat's, you got all the garlands that are lit up here too. Now, if you do come to Alton Towers Christmas and it's busy in the daytime and you want to get some quieter rides in, much better on an evening. But obviously, if you have got little ones, not ideal when it's this cold uh, coming out at night. I mean, look at this, it's like an hour left and everything's walk on all five minutes. Um, but yeah, it's freezing cold. Yeah, the tree looks really nice there in the middle. Not as nice as the main tree along the Towers Street, but they've added lots of lights wrapped around the tree trunks. Overall, presentation for Christmas this year at the front of the park is fantastic. I can't believe they haven't done anything down the back, especially with how good all this looks. I'm really surprised. I'll tell you what, you know it's quiet when even in the night garden is walk on just over there for a magical boat ride. A nice walk there around CBeebies land. Yeah, lots of decorations to see and all the lights. However, Tower Street steals the show just out here. And look at the moon up there tonight. I thought it was a full moon at first, but no, I don't think it is now. Nearly there though. And yeah, looking down towards the towers themselves. So yeah, we're gonna have a walk down into Mutiny Bay now, show you all the lights and decorations down there at night, including all these trees that are uh, all wrapped new for this year. And then we will have a walk down towards the world of David Williams again, just in case you never know, they might be like a big projection show or something. <laughs> I doubt it, but uh, yeah, we'll have a walk down there just to see if there's anything hiding away uh, that maybe we didn't uh, see earlier on. But yeah, this looks great. I like how all the trusses have got that blue lighting on. It looks great and it's like over there as well, they've done uh, the bridge or the dam as it actually is, and then the towers that you can just about make out over there um, behind the trees. Yeah, the trees have grown massive these past few years. It blocks the view of the towers. First time they've done this and it looks really good. So yeah, they've wrapped lights around the tree trunks and then they've got the blue up lighters as well, lighting up the top section. Yeah, I think that looks brilliant. More of this kind of thing around the park would be great. And like I say, not just for Christmas. I mean, yeah, uh, wrapping around the tree trunks is festive, but the up lighters, uh, they'd be nice in uh, other times of the year. And yeah, as you make our way down here to Mutiny Bay, it's very quiet now. It's very chilly this evening. It's about one degree now. And yeah, people look very, very cold. But this looks very pretty. I'm impressed with this. Now you got the nice lights there on Mutiny Bay. Mutiny Bay is actually one of the only areas of the park to have some permanent lighting as well. Yeah, this looks very pretty. And all the music as well. Yeah, that looks great. What an awesome fair opportunity with the sign and all the tree trunks. Yeah, it looks really good. Lots of lights around here too. Yeah, it looks nice in the daytime, but at night you really see it come to life around here. All the nice lights on the side of Heathrow just there. Shame about these generators though, they really need to lose these over the next few years. As they're redoing areas here, they need to be putting in proper permanent lighting because yeah, stuff like this doesn't look great. I'm not a huge fan of that. I think what I would have done here, you 
know, because there's a lot of trees in this section, I would have said maybe have two or three trees here and then two or three on the pathway down to Walliams or even in Walliams. Um, that's the thing, so many decorations around here, which is lovely. However, when you got some areas that are really lacking, uh, I just thought about the placements a little bit more with these. Yeah, definitely, because this is very nice. It looks great. And if you've got trees and decorations down there too, the more the better, right? It's Christmas. Um, but yeah, definitely with how they've done it, you know, just put these around in different areas instead of all together. Oh, very wintry scene there with the moon and also Wicker Man flickering away. Might be freezing tonight, but looking at Big Bob definitely makes you feel warm. The park is deserted. I'd say there's less than 50 people in here now. Could be even less than that. And I think that's the thing, when it's this cold, or with there not being any sort of nighttime show or markets or Lightopia, there's nothing for people to really stick about for, to be honest. People have come, they've done CBeebies Land, and then they've gone. So yeah, I do think there needs to be some pretty big changes again for Christmas next year. There's just not enough to draw day guests in. It's literally like we've private hired Alton Towers tonight. Like, you can't see anybody as far as the eye can see down here. And yeah, they've got these lights just on the left. These were in for Scarefest. Yeah, it's nice that they've kept those up. I won't really say the Christmas lights, those ones, but they are nice and atmospheric just off to the left. But yeah, other than that, there is nothing to see down here festive. But you never know. Like I said, there could be like a projection show or something on the towers. Can you imagine? I'd love to see a projection, Matt. I think that'd be great in the future. Uh, I think I would have brought in an ice rink this year as well. That would have been nice. Works down at Warwick Castle. Uh, that would have been good. Imagine ice skating out the front of the towers. But yeah, the fact there's no <laughs> trees or anything down here, uh, it's a real shame, man. Look at this. Doesn't look Christmassy at all, does it? It's a complete contrast to that view the other way, isn't it? Looking back there towards Tower Street with the huge tree, all the little ones. And then, yeah, you've got the reflections in the lake there too. And here's a close up look at the beautiful Towers ruins. And yeah, very atmospheric with the lighting just on there, including a backlight in the windows just there as well, which does look fantastic. Doesn't show up the best on camera, but in person, that looks really good. It's like there's somebody living in there. Yeah, it's great, really nice. And we've made our way up here now into the world of David Williams. And yeah, as expected, no projection mapping show, no decorations or anything down here. Um, yeah, here's a look at it. I wanted to show you it though at night and you want to miss out just in case there was something uh, down here to show you all. But yeah, sadly there isn't, apart from the beautiful permanent lights that they do have. More of this around the park would be nice. Yeah, I do like the lights with the bookcases. Uh, and obviously the lights on the carousel look good and Flavio's looks pretty decent. Um, but yeah, overall, I've never seen anything looking so like, not festive. Real shame around here, isn't it, Charlotte? I'm really surprised. Like, people are coming to an Alton Towers Christmas event to see Christmassy stuff. Yeah. You can walk around the park like this any other time and see it. Where's the lights? Yeah. Where's the trees? I think it's shocking. Yeah, and we overheard a conversation just from a family. I don't think they were familiar with parks and stuff, but they just made a comment uh, between each other and we overheard it with themselves you know why is that half of the park look really Christmassy and then there's nothing down here at the back it's not just you know it's common sense like you expect to see it you come in and think oh this is gonna be amazing this whole park's gonna look like this and you come down here and there's nothing like the parents was trying to describe <laughs> to the kids as to why it's not Christmassy around yeah. the whole park and it's hard like yeah notice what why is why especially when you give away like your best of your best decorations when you come in people think this is gonna be good yeah I've seen this and then you come down here to the back you know and you've kind of given away your best kind of surprises um, at the start instead of building people up throughout but uh, yeah there we go that's Alton Towers Christmas 2023 for a day guest yeah I mean you just got the moon shining through the trees there some spotlights just over here on the left and the sound of the speedy generators just over there yeah unfortunately it's not quite cutting it down here at the back in my opinion but yeah the lighting looks nice in the trees there uh, and that was installed actually for Scarefest uh, but again it's not Christmas lighting but it is nice atmospheric lighting but yeah uh, the sound of a generator down here uh, is pretty much sure you're getting festive <laughs> down at this end of the park unfortunately yeah it's a real shame uh, but still we'll make our way now down to Tower Street to go and see all the wonderful decorations one last time and then of course yeah we're going to be experiencing the Santa sleepover and everything that that has and I'm sure there's going to be much more going on for overnight guests however uh, I do still feel like they need to be doing a lot more for day guests in the future especially with competition um, always creeping up from other parks here in the UK and we've made our way back down here now to Tower Street looking at the beautiful tree just there and yeah like I said earlier I feel like that is the best tree they've done here it looks really good covered in lights and baubles and yeah it's a big beauty as well and all the lights sparkling away 
there in the middle as well. Yeah, Tower Street really does look amazing for the festive season. Brings to the end of our vlog here from Alton Towers, checking out the Christmas offering for day guests for 2023. I tell you what, though, I am pretty chilly now tonight, Charlotte. I am freezing. My face is so cold. Now, overall, in terms of the ride offering that's available, similar to previous years, and yeah, of course, CBeebies Land is a big draw of a family that's coming down here. And yeah, it's really good to see that area open and, of course, decorated. In terms of decorations, Tower Street looks the best it's ever looked, in our opinion. It's beautiful, isn't it? It looks absolutely stunning. Like, the lights, there is just so many, and they're all, like, twinkling, which is really nice to see. Same with Mutiny Bay. That looks really nice decorated for Christmas as well. As we mentioned throughout the vlog, quite a a few times i think it's very disappointing how the back of the park isn't decorated at all other than a few spotlights up in the trees there's no christmas decorations down there at all and yeah it seems really weird the fact they haven't put anything down there even when this event used to be for hotel guests only back in the day they would still decorate down there so it's quite bizarre how they haven't in my opinion it's one of them where it feels like that of that part of the park should never have been open and it was added on last minute yeah that's how it feels i don't think that was the case but yeah that is certainly how it feels um in terms of decorations down there uh, and then along with that that is literally what's on offer i do like how they've got the snowman walking around for photos you have got the cbb's line shows but in general it is a big cutback event it on is. what we've had the past couple of years i miss lightopia i miss the markets the trail that we had through the gardens that wasn't lightopia there was actually one a couple of years ago they did that was just included uh, in day ticket holders and then of course everybody had the opportunity to meet santa uh, previously as well and now it is just for hotel guests in general it is a disappointing event for day guests here at Alton Towers this year. I just hope that 2024 sees them do more. But as I mentioned back at the start of the vlog, the reason behind it was the time in the school holidays and also a lot of other work going on around the park. So I think we can kind of excuse it for one year, especially if there's a lot of other work going on. However, for 2024, they need to start building this event back up again. 100%, they really need to get people back and bring stuff back because at the moment the offering's just not there. Yeah, it's really not. And you can see that tonight walking around. You know, this half of the so park wild. looks lovely, but there's hardly anyone here to see it with the opening hours 10 6. people come here for 10 uh, do the park and then they're leaving by three four o'clock maybe even earlier than that because there's not enough to do and also that's the best time to see all this now that goes me on to if you're coming to visit as a day guest uh, if you're an annual pass holder and live quite locally of course it's worth coming down to see it uh, myself i wouldn't want to travel more than like you know 45 minutes or so uh, to come and see what the alton towers are offering for a day experience however of course it's up to the individual uh, i think for me though this year it should have just been hotel guests only I what they're offering. I completely agree with the offering that they've got it should have just been kept to hotel guests only and yeah. then bring it back for day guests next season. Yeah definitely when there's more to offer and competition's always stepping up um, at other parks as well and I think Alton Towers really need to think come on now let's go big again with Christmas. They tried it they were stepping up and then yeah it has oh, been yeah. Uh, taken away this year but still we're going to be checking out the Santa sleepovers and uh, yeah we're going to be staying at the hotel we're going to show you the pantomime the hotel entertainment and also talk about everything that you get with that along with a santa experience as well here in the park so yeah it's gonna be a completely different vlog to this one uh, we're not gonna be showing anything that we have in this it's completely different showing you what it's like if you're coming for a santa sleepover and alton tower has been kind enough uh, to invite us down to show you that because even alton towers know themselves that um you know what they're offering for day guests this year um is much poorer than the past couple of years uh, so they wanted to give us the chance to show you what you can get if you come down for an overnight stay so that'll be coming up tomorrow as we continue on with the christmas vlogs here on theme park worldwide and um, from a beautifully decorated tower streets that leaves us with one final thing to say get out there and keep on riding see you in tomorrow's vlog